I knew you said there just before we started recording, big, <laughs> big win, because uh, you can talk about performances, you can talk about winning amazingly and us being entertained and excited, but it's about points at this end of the season and that's what we got today. Massive three points. Yeah. Massive for the top four. I think that puts Liverpool out of it now. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, they lost in there, yeah. Because they're not, not going to get 10 points on us now. Because they're going to drop more points. We may drop more points, but I don't think they're going to catch 10 points now. Mm. But massive game against Everton. Because that will put it six points before Tottenham play Brighton. Mm. And that will not be an easy game for him. No, no. Because Brighton are a really good team. So if we can get six points before we play them, that would be massive. Yeah, it was, it was big. It was big to win. And, you know, you're always going to get a difficult game yeah. against Brentford. And that's what we got. You know, maybe not in the first half, but definitely in the second half. It, it, was, it was a tight game. We had to defend really well today, didn't we? First half, we played really well. Yes. And we deserved that goal. I, f I wanted the second goal to kill it. Exactly. But... We defended really well, resolute, like, brilliant in the second half, the mentality. Who stood out for you in defence today? Martinez. He's awesome. On it. He's so good on the ball and he's so good defensively. He's got yeah. the all-round game. Yeah, and obviously, you know, he's playing up against big Ivan Tony. He's going to rough him up a little bit. You know, he went clattering into people, you know, passes between the lines as well, getting his head on the end of things. I thought Varane did the same thing today. Just the centre-backs in general today were good, weren't they? Yeah, because Ivan Tony's a quality player. Yeah. Like, he's my number one choice for he's next He's your number season. one? Yeah. So over Kane, over Osman, over and you know, Vlaivi, whoever. I think he suits his system perfectly, but we kept him quiet today. So yeah. really yeah. good to see. Good. What did you make of uh, Marcus Rashford today? Now another goal for him for the season. He just keeps going. Again, might not be his best game, but the goals keep coming for him. I thought it was dangerous. Yeah. I thought it was his best performance in quite a bit. A little bit because he's been. Do you know what it was? We kept him saying it with Rashford. He's producing this season, but it was like. This world class form, or is he a world class becoming I mean, a world class player? Mm. And I'm getting a bit worried, but but he start today was really good. So yeah, it, it was a weird one because I think since the Barca the last sort of month and a half or so, it's kind of been a little bit. little bit yeah dropping off. Maybe couldn't you know get his head down and get involved in the games like he was. Um, but Bruno as well. Bruno played you know deeper again today, which I was thinking I just don't like think it, it could have worked. But in the first half, it was it was okay. Um, what did you make of Bruno today in general? Good moments, bad moments, mm. but I don't like him deep. Mm. I mean, I'd prefer, I'd prefer on the wing than in number 10, just because I think yeah. the further away from goal, the better, because he's costly. Mm. Like, like, against Newcastle, how many times did he give the ball away? And it's like, against good teams, you can't get away with it. But. Yeah, and that, was that the difference today? That, and I'm not saying that Brentford aren't a good team, because they are, they no, clearly are. Like but in, in, terms of, in terms of, yeah, the way they play in midfield, there wasn't masses of pressure on the ball, there wasn't tackles flying in it. It wasn't a, it wasn't a game that was, you know, a midfield battle today, was it? It was like them sitting off and letting us have it. It was like an energetic midfield from Brentford. It wasn't like calm and composed on the ball. It was like erratic, but yeah. it does work for him like really well. But that's why I think Bruno was suited today because I'm not going to criticise Bruno for work rate because his work rate is outstanding, but I don't particularly like him on the ball. That's mm. my issue. Yeah. But today it did work because of, because of Bruno's attributes. He has like the work rate, the pressing and everything he can do. What did you make of... Um... I forgot his name now. Um, Sancho, Jane Sancho today. Um, got a start. I kind of thought, mm, okay, interesting. He's trying to give him a start, put Rashford up front, no their course. Went a little bit different today, Ten Hag. What did you make of Sancho? I thought he was bright in the first half. I thought I thought we were going to start Martial, but... Yeah, so, uh, like, I wanted us to. Yeah, but, but um, Sancho yeah. was bright. I thought in the second half he got, got more quiet, but in the first half it was positive signs. Do you think his best position is on the left-hand side? Or right-hand side? In ten, where, where, where's the best place to get the best out of him? Um, I think number ten, just because he's not that quick, and I think ten are like explosive wingers like Rashford, um, yeah. Anthony, and think yeah. players like that. But I think because he's a tidy player, like, mm. he's really good on the ball. I think number ten position would suit him massively. That's a couple of starts in a row for Sabitzer now. Um, he got an assist today. Um, you know, people giving him a good clap on the way out as well when he got taken off. What did you make of his performance? I thought it was good, and I. When Ericsson comes back, I think that was when we become the animal we were. And I'd love to see Bruno get shifted out wide. And I'd love to see him midfield for either Casemiro, Ericsson and Sabitzer. Because I think mm. that would be really good. Do you think there's, you know, Sabitzer's fine, maybe trying to find his feet and can, can go up some levels? I think he's better further forward. I think he's a bit like Fred. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's better further forward. Because mm. he's like, he's energetic. He can win the ball back out of the pitch. And he, he's a bit stiff, but like, he's, he's effective. Mm. And Martial, you know, come on, come on late. How important is it that we, we just keep him ticking over, get him fit so that he can start starting games? It's massive because he's a quality player and you can clearly see it like his link up play and everything helps the team out massively. Mm. Yeah. Who was your man of the match finish off? I'm going to go Martinez. Yeah, yeah. Why?
I just thought he was really good. Yeah. I thought he was solid. Yeah, good stuff. Brad, always a pleasure. Yeah. Nice one. Well.